All right, ladies and gents, today we're gonna to show you how to bench press like a boss. I'm sure a lot of you guys are making these errors. I'm gonna teach you how to avoid them and bench press properly. If you guys are looking to see our top three favorite bench press exercises to help you blast your milestones, get you that 225, hit that like button, and we'll consider making that video next. The bench press is an amazing all around muscle building exercise. You're gonna get a ton of chest work, then of course you're gonna get some shoulder and tricep work in there as well. And it's really gonna help you develop the strength in your pushing like movements. This is an exercise a lot of people put on a pedestal and a lot of people really love, but unfortunately a lot of people are doing it wrong, they're throwing it out, they're making mistakes, and unfortunately this is an exercise where you can occur a lot of injuries. Help you guys avoid that, we're gonna show you three common mistakes, how to combat them, then we're gonna go through the walkthrough of how to perform this exercise. Okay guys, and common mistake number one, this is the absolute biggest one, and it sounds very obvious, but it's just not understanding how to do a proper rep. So many people start off by just simply bouncing the weight, and I would highly recommend, this is very important, to start by learning how to do an actual pause for a second on the chest, and the reason we're doing this is to learn actual control and actually how to do the proper movement. Another common mistake within this actual big common mistake is a lot of people just go one or two inches off the chest, it turns to three inches off the chest, four inches, and you're not doing an actual proper rep. So with that being said guys, just learn how to do a nice pause at the end um, and get proper control within the movement, learn how to actually do it and then go from there. So this is what a complete pause bench press looks like. You're controlling all the way down, you're pausing at the very end for one second and then you're exploding all the way up. Whereas here you see a clip of someone just going, bouncing around and that's not how you wanna do the exercise. Common mistake number two is abusing one muscle group to just bear the burden of the load of this exercise. This is a multi-muscle movement so you guys are gonna to wanna to make sure you're utilizing all the muscles you can. A lot of people will bench press like this and it's gonna be killing your shoulders, just decimating them. You're taking a lot of the tension off the chest, kind of inhibiting the triceps ability to function properly. And on the other side, people will bench way too low and they're gonna be using all tricep. It's gonna turn into a weird closed grip bench hybrid. And although it might not be completely tricep or completely shoulder, you're taking a lot of the tension off where it should be the chest. Saying so, you also don't wanna use only the chest. People go really wide and are doing this. That's gonna to be too much of a burden. That's gonna put a lot of strain on the chest. You really wanna move this one around, except that it's a compound. It's not necessarily gonna be an isolation exercise for the chest. And if you wanna use it for that, I'd recommend going the dumbbell route and going a little bit lighter. However, if you wanna do a proper movement, you're gonna come down, make sure you have that 45 degree angle, tuck in those triceps, get that pause, and explode up and kind of flare those shoulders ever so slightly. A lot of people are gonna get angry ever so slightly. You're not flaring it like a crazy person. You're coming in and just exploding up to a nice straight, strong position. And that's gonna be mistake number two, is people don't do this proper form, they do those other weird forms. So once again, you're coming down in 45, you're pausing, you're gonna flare up in a strong position to a straight position, and then collapse back down into that 45 degree position. Number three, real quick, this is kind of going to Kyle's territory with the bouncing, is abusing your body parts when doing this. So it's kind of like number two, but when you're bouncing, you are smashing your sternum. I got to a point where I was guilty of bouncing myself, and I was doing 315 for reps, six reps or something at the time, and just 350 pounds, boom, boom, like I'd be, <laughs> my bones would be sore. So you don't want to be doing that. I really recommend the pause. If you do do touch and go, do a control touch and go, and from that as well, into the touch and go. I know it sounds like it's overlapping, but it's not, because what a lot of people will do is this. You'll see a lot of the time. And what I'm doing there is every time I'm exploding up with a serious load, let's say 225 pounds, I'm extending and locking this tricep out, and hello tennis elbow, that's how you're gonna get it. You're gonna abuse the heck out of your elbows if you're locking them every time. In a power thing, you don't need to lock out like this even. This is standard, as long as there's still some control, some tension on the bicep here and the tricep. It's not fully locked, you're not doing this movement, that's gonna be dangerous, you're just going to here. It's about an inch of difference, if even, but it will save your elbows and you'll thank me later. So guys, we know this is a lot of information to take in. If you guys wanna take us, the personal trainers, and put us in your pocket, help you with every single exercise you need help with, make sure to download Click this first link in the description below. You'll get all of our form guide exercises and it'll help you out. All right, so we're gonna go through the complete walkthrough of how to perform this exercise. 
So first and foremost, once you have your hands on the bar and you're lying down, it's all about foot placement. You can see there's two different ways of doing it. There's on your tippy toes there, which is a little bit looser, and this, which they recommend in most feds. I recommend starting this way, angling out, keeping your butt on the seat, and really focusing on that. From there, you guys can see it's all about back positioning. Here, Kyle's a very weak position. It's very awkward. His head's up, his spine's collapsed, and that's not going to be a strong position. Here is like a medium pin. Here you can see he's got the spine kind of loaded. It's a little bit more comfortable, and it's a stronger position pushing position, but it's still not fully optimized. Lastly, here you can see this is a good pin. He's decided to go tippy toes, but that's what he wants, and it limits the range of motion from the bar. This is gonna be your strongest position. It's gonna keep you tight to the bench, and it's what we recommend. Going into where your hand should be, you should position them on the bar wherever you have about approximately a 45 degree angle. Here you can see it's like straight for him. At the bottom, you want Kyle's hand there to be over his elbow. You want those to be in line. That's usually how you know you're doing it right. And you're pressing up from just below your nipples to just about the mid length of your chest. And that's how you're gonna kind of get that explode there. So you can see he's continuing to do that perfect push and this is what it's gonna look like from the side. Same thing, he pulls it off, he doesn't lift off, he pulls it off and then boom. See how the bar path changes there? He pushes it outward, that's exactly what you guys want. It should be like a slight angle but he's still in good control, forms tight, butt staying on the bench. That's how you get her done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please smash that like button if you wanna see a video on our top three exercises to blow past the 225 pound milestone. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.